This is the time to pray. This is the hour of prayer. The people of God, I am bringing this to you today and asking you and beseeching you uh, to pray. Our nation needs prayer. The world needs prayer. There are lost people that need to come to Jesus. There are those that are sick and dying that need healing in their bodies. Uh, our government needs prayer. Uh, in Second um, Chronicles 7.14, uh, the Lord gives us uh, a commandment. He gives us a, a commission, if you will. And he says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, whoo, hallelujah, and, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. I know that our land needs to be healed. Um, you know, also, you see behind me a beautiful church building with a beautiful steeple on the top. You know, this is just a building. The people of God, that's the church. We are the church. We are being told to pray. You know, in Matthew and in Mark and in Luke, Jesus said to the Pharisees, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a house of thieves, a den of thieves. And Jesus was instructing uh, his disciples, and he was uh, giving us, uh, he says, pray, pray. My house shall be a house of prayer, and that we're not to make it uh, a house where the enemy can break in and, and steal, kill, and destroy. You know, our house needs to be a house of prayer. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18, the last piece of the war armor is prayer. He says, pray with all prayers for the saints of God. And in Philippians 4, 6, he says, be careful for nothing, but bring your prayers to the Lord. Bring your supplications to to the, bring your intercessions to the to the Lord, you know. And this is this is something that that as we do this, as we pray, the Lord will open up heaven. Hallelujah! That's what He told me this morning. That prayer opens up the heavens, are the supernatural realm, and God can reach down and heal our land. He can fix the government. He can fix the economy through prayer. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, we are told to bring our prayers and our intercessions, especially for those in authority, those that have authority in this land. We need to be praying for those, those, uh, those in authority, those prime ministers, those uh, government officials, those ambassadors. Uh, we need to be praying for those presidents. We need to be praying for our uh, local government, in our state government, uh, because and in our church government, we need to be praying. Our, my house, he says, shall be a house of prayer. You know, when the heavens open up, just like Ezekiel, uh, he saw the heavens open up and he saw visions. And God wants to give you visions. And God wants to show you things to come. And Jesus, when he was baptized in the River Jordan, the heavens opened up and Jesus saw the Spirit of God like a dove come and light upon his shoulder. And then the voice came. You know, when we pray, heaven opens up and God enters into our situation. If you've got a situation today that you need an intervention you need a divine intervention. I'm talking to somebody today. I'm talking to you today. If you need an intervention in your life, in your marriage, in your children, in your finances, in your ministry, then begin to pray. Begin to let your house be a house of prayer. And God will come and he will invade your situation. He will come and he will invade your, your, your very being. And he will bring the answer and he will bring the solution. Hallelujah. 
I pray for you today that you, your land be healed as you begin to pray and seek the face of the Lord and that you turn away from your wickedness and you turn away from any evil, that repentance will be given unto you and that as you uh, begin to repent and the refreshing will come, that the heavens will open up to you and God will invade your situation. I pray for those that have sickness in their body. It cannot stay there today. Uh, Viruses cannot stay. Uh, Any type of blood disorder cannot stay uh, in Jesus' name. Any type of back uh, situation uh, in the spinal cord, it it cannot stay there. It has to be healed in Jesus' name. And by the blood of Jesus, we thank you for praying today. I hope that this has stirred you up and and caused you to think that as you pray, you open up the supernatural realm. Hallelujah. God bless you today. In Jesus' name, receive this word. Thank you.